Welcome. My health after retiring. Regaining my health as a senior. Are you concerned about your health after retirement? If so, you're not alone. Many seniors experience a decline in health after retiring. And one ongoing study indicates that in the first year after retirement, your chances for a heart attack or a stroke go up by 40%. In this video, I want to share my personal story of how I am restoring my health after retiring. Let's go back a little bit. I want to talk about before I retired. I was in a very high stress job as well as under a, a, other high stress circumstances for about 12 years. And the last four years or so, I started um, gaining more weight. And by the time I retired, I was close to 100 pounds overweight. My um, crutch was sugar, basically. And so I was dealing with the stress uh, by using sugar and uh, eating a lot of things that involved uh, sugar, whether it would be uh, chocolate muffins in the morning or uh, a piece of pie at night um, or uh, three to four large uh, glasses of uh, sweet tea every day. Um, I was really kind of addicted to sugar. I was never a smoker. I was not a, a regular drinker at all, and if anything, very, 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 very occasional. And uh, so I've never done recreational drugs, but once I retired, all I wanted to do was kind of rest and recuperate a little bit after uh, being under such high stress for a long time and after three months going into October, I was faced with a situation where I was seeing the exact same thing that happened to me back in 2020. And at that time I was uh, having diarrhea and vomiting and uh, couldn't stop. And finally had to be taken to the emergency room uh, where they diagnosed me with pancreatitis. And I was put in the hospital for about four days with a tube in my stomach. So in October of uh, 21, uh, this same thing occurred. I was having diarrhea and uh, vomiting. And it was uh, so painful and so often that I was laying on the floor to try and rest and recuperate, which was very cold. and. Basically, when I got the energy and felt like I wasn't going to throw up or have diarrhea for a little bit, I'd go about 15 feet to get to my bed. And uh, then as soon as it would hit again, I would be off to the bathroom. And this was going on all night to the point where I thought, I'm not going to make it. It's uh, rather difficult. And I finally checked some things and realized because of my training I've studied oriental medicine and acupuncture and some other things. And I found out my uh, pancreas was very low uh, energetic wise. And so I did some things that moved some energy back into the pancreas. And sure enough, I was able to get to sleep, which is probably four o'clock in the morning. Um, and so I slept for a while and uh, woke up and I had to do some more balancing of the energies but what I discovered then also is I needed to get on the four level pancreas uh, which is a formula designed around helping the pancreas now most people are not familiar with the pancreas other than they believe it uh, has something to do with your insulin and your blood sugar which it does but it has other functions as well and one of them is uh, making enzymes that are secreted in the first part of your small intestine. And so I needed to uh, get my pancreas well because I wasn't having diabetes. 
but I was probably maybe on the road to that, um, given the fact that I'd gained so much weight and was depending on sugar so much. And so uh, I went through uh, taking core level pancreas for about four or five months, and uh, my diet had changed a little bit during that time and wasn't depending so heavily on sugar. Uh, but as soon as I got back uh, to that point um, and felt like I was better, I started in again. And so in uh, 2022, August of 22, I uh, lost part of a filling. And basically, uh, my I went to a dentist and they took my blood pressure. And they took it again and they took it again. And they told me I had uh, blood pressure 180 over 110, and they refused to work on me. So I had left there, and I was in a bit of a shock. And so I decided to uh, go get a blood pressure monitor, which I went and got a cheap one. It's very hard to use monitors that you would use on other people on yourself because you have to have a one hand to control the pressure in the other hand to listen with the mic uh, stethoscope and so i picked up a cheap one at walmart and that was a mistake and i'll tell you all about that in a video of what you should not get as a blood pressure monitor very unreliable but anyway um that was my start of this journey and i want to kind of share that with you Basically, uh, there are things I've learned in this journey because I've been trying to restore my health naturally uh, without drugs. And uh, what I am accomplishing is interesting because I've made mistakes and I found things that you probably shouldn't be doing, that you shouldn't spend your money on. And I've also found uh, some success. But it took a while to get there, and the first step I had to take was I took some time and did some research, and basically I decided that diet was going to be my first uh, step, and so that's where I started at the beginning of September, was with diet, and we'll get into all of that in another video. But I just kind of wanted to get you up to speed on the beginning of my journey and why I'm doing what I'm doing here is simply because I want to share my mistakes, the stuff you really don't need to be spending your money on, and how you can actually improve your health naturally. Um, and I want to give you a tip here is basically if you're uh, retired, you should have a, um, like a journal, like set up a single document with one for diet, uh, one for supplements, uh, one for exercise, and another one for bad habits. And so let's start with the bad habits. In the bad habits, put everything you do that you know you probably shouldn't be doing. If you smoke, put that down. If you drink, put that down. And how much and whatever else you do, uh, choose to buy the weather. Um, so let's make a list of bad habits. Then over on diet, Put anything down in the diet that you don't think you should be doing. Whether it's excessive sugar or you're eating too much of this or that or what have you. Uh, write it down. Make a list of the things you know you shouldn't be doing. And then uh, the same thing, you know, put a list of the supplements you're taking. If you are taking natural supplements, it's a good idea to keep a list. And then... Uh, Make a list of the exercise you're doing. If you're retired, you need to be active and you definitely need to be exercising. But first, your health comes first. And so diet is the most important. Supplements is probably next right up there with diet. Because there's certain things you have to have or you're going to have a problem. And there's just no way you're getting enough of them in your diet. And so... Make those uh, separate lists and start with one thing on, uh, say, your diet list and one thing on your bad habits list and see if you can change those. And we'll get more into uh, other things that you can do to help yourself later. 
But uh, for now, I want to make you aware that I have created um, a number of playlists where I went in and searched for uh, different keywords and found the videos. Uh, if they're crappy videos, I try to keep them out of the playlist. But I've tried to, to keep in the playlist all the different opinions and uh, especially the good ones and uh, make playlists for everything, whether it's uh, insulin resistance, um, you know, high blood pressure, uh, on and on and on. So I have a lot of playlists that are available to you. Now, the, the thing is, some of these videos are hard to find under what you would think would be the normal keyword to search for. So the videos are there for your uh, entertainment, enjoyment, and learning experience. And I hope you'll make use of the uh, playlist on my channel. So do subscribe to my channel, check it out, and uh, look for the playlists. They're there for you and to help you with your health problems as a senior. And I'll be continuing uh, this journey and making individual videos of the steps I've taken, uh, the mistakes I've made, the things you don't really want to spend money on. Uh, the next video uh, will probably be on the mistake I made for buying that very first uh, blood pressure monitor. So I want to thank you uh, for watching uh, my health after retiring. Um, regaining my health as a senior uh, is an important issue for all of us if we're uh, retired and seniors. And so thank you for watching this video.